I bet you didn't know that you can use Canva to create some pretty cool graphics for your videos that you might put on YouTube, that you might add to your website so that people can get to know you in this video format. I bet you didn't know that you can use Canva for that reason. You can, and I'm gonna show you how. Amanda. I am a web designer and consultant for creative business entrepreneurs to help them get their creative genius out into the world. If you've never been here before, welcome. I'm glad to have you. If you want to hit that subscribe button to stay in contact so that you can get new videos from me three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, just hit that little subscribe button down below. And let's dive into using Canva to create graphics for your videos. Here I am in Canva in a couple of things that I've already created that I just wanted to show you really quickly before I showed you how you can make some of your own. So here is a tip thing that I created so I could add each number for the tips that I use in my videos. And I already did this up to number 10. Basically, I just grabbed a triangle from the elements and the shape section. And then I changed the color to be one of my brand colors. And I stored the brand colors because I have Canva for work and I pay $12 a month. I was able to store those and I was able to upload the premium font that I got from Creative Market. So that way I could use my fonts in anything that I create on Canva. If you wanted to make it really well branded whenever you're creating something for your videos, make sure that you pay for the Canva for work. It's $12 a month or $13 a month, so it's not too pricey. Um, it allows you to do these extra things that really takes your stuff a little bit further when it comes to really creating branded things for your website, for your videos, whatever it is that you're creating. So basically all this is, is a triangle with some words layered on top, pretty easy. And then when I go to download, I just make sure that I do a PNG and have a transparent background. So that way it doesn't have this white portion here. So that's all you really have to do when it comes to download. Over here, I also created a button that says subscribe that I use. And again, I used elements and shapes and I just grabbed one of the shapes that is shaped like this. So you could use anything if you really wanted to. So you can see as you look here, there are a bunch of shapes that you can use to make things and you would just choose the ones that you like and use that uh, to make your stuff for YouTube. So let me create a new one. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go to use custom dimensions. And I usually try to make it like 500 by 500 or something like that, depending on what it is that I'm creating. This one you'll see is going to be a square and I would want this probably for my tips that I want to add to the top corner of the screen whenever I mention a new tip. So let's say you wanted to make a circle one. You would just come in here and you would grab the circle and it always comes up with my brand color right away, but I can always change that. I have them stored in here so I could change it to one of these other colors. And then I can just go back into text and let's add it as a heading here. So, and it says add heading. So I'm just gonna say tip number one, like this, and I can change the font by coming here and grabbing one of the other fonts that I use. I can also make this bigger if I want, or I can have two different things on here. So maybe I want tip and then number one to be in a different font. So I can do that too. So let me delete that out and then add subheading that says number one. So tip number one, and I can move these around and you'll see that some guides show up to kind of tell you where things are. So here it is in the center and then there it is in the exact center and you can move these things around more if you want. 
you can make the font size larger by going here. Let's say I want it to be like 64. And then I want this to be this font. And I'm gonna move it up. And then this one I want to be the other font. Um, this Silver South. And I want it to also be a bit larger in size. Let's go up even further on that. You can change the color of the font if you want. You can change lots of things with this. So I'm gonna make this white. Um, let's see, I don't have a white here. It's way down here. So I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna make this white by doing the same thing. All right, and then, you know, just moving them around to kind of figure out where exactly I want them to be. That's all you really have to do. And then when you're ready, like I said, you just hit download and you make sure you have a transparent background. And then you hit download and it'll download to your computer and you just upload it to whatever editing software that you use. And I just personally like went through and made a bunch of these. So I made up to 10. So that way I could just use them over and over again. I also made a an arrow, which really was not, I didn't do anything. I just grabbed an arrow from over here. So you can scroll through and you can find things just by scrolling through, or you can type up here like arrow. So arrow and hit enter. And then it's going to have some arrows pop up that you could use, that you could just use over and over. Now, some of them you have to pay for and some of them are free. If you just want something quick and easy that's free, then go ahead and use a free one. If you want to pay just a dollar, you could pay a dollar and you could have an arrow that you really, really like. And it's not too pricey. So you can do all of that within Canva or you could go over to Creative Market. You could purchase something there and all you have to do is upload it here and bring it into your little work area here and make sure that you save it as a PNG and make sure it has a transparent background. The same thing goes with the subscribe button. And I made this one of my brand colors and then I had this font over top and I downloaded it as a PNG and made sure it had a transparent background. That's it, it was super simple, took me probably two minutes to do. And then now I have that every single time. I made this the size of this so that it wasn't quite as tall. So these ones, you know, 500 by 500, it's quite, you know, it's taller and I didn't really need all of that space above and below the button. So I made it, you can see here, it's 300 pixels by 120 pixels and that seems to work just fine. So that's it. That's how you can create some super cute little graphics to go inside your videos. So that's it. That's how you use Canva to create graphics for your videos. I love to use Canva because it's quick and easy and takes really no time at all. And then it also saves my graphics so that I can easily change them for later. So I take those graphics and then I add them to my videos. I have another video that I'll pop the link above where you can watch that so that you can figure out kind of how I go about editing my videos so that I can add these little graphics in so that I can also, you know, do the other things I do and hopefully that'll be of use for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you can see when I release a new video and also hit the like button if you liked this video. I'll see you in the next one and don't forget to stay creative.